Hello! In this video, we're going to go over how you can optimize your Unreal Engine game projects by using level streaming. Level streaming is a technique that allows you to efficiently manage levels by dynamically loading and unloading specific areas of our game world. Instead of loading everything at once, Unreal Engine allows us to only load the parts that we need. How does it work? In a nutshell, imagine your game world divided into smaller, manageable levels. All of these levels exist in one main level, and as the player basically navigates the game, these levels are seamlessly loaded or unloaded in the background. This not only conserves system resources, but enhances performance by reducing memory usage and improving frame rates. So, with all that said, let's get into the video. To get started, we're first going to create a main level, and from this main level, we're going to be able to load and unload all of the different levels inside of our game. So, if I just go File, New Level, and I'm just going to select the basic level. And then I'm just going to save this level somewhere in my um, project. I'll just call this the Hub level. Then you just want to go to Window, and select Levels. This will bring up um, this Levels tab here. I just popped it in the corner here. Now, to add levels to this Hub level, we can just go here where it says Levels, and then go add existing so we can add existing levels into this level or we can create a new level I'm just going to create a new level so I'm going to go create new and I'm going to select empty so it will have nothing inside of it and go create and let's just call this um, level 1 and I'll save that okay so in the bottom right corner you'll see it says level 1 this basically means I'm working in level 1 so if I just go here where it says quickly add things to the project and I added um, a cube and I'm just going to um, duplicate it and make another one. All of these cubes are on level 1. If I just click this eye icon, you'll see um, it's hidden. So this persistent level is our main level. And um, if I just click this eye, this is my level 1. To work in the persistent level, I can just click here. And now, basically, if I were to add a cube or create anything, it would be in the persistent level. If I change this to be level 1, then everything I create will be here in level 1. Okay, so I've just modified my um, persistent level a bit. I gave it some walls, and I'm just going to change this back to level 1. And I'm just going to select all of these um, three cubes and move them into the next room that I've placed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so we can dynamically load and unload level 1. So if I just click play in my game right now, I'm not going to be able to see um, those cubes because we start off in the persistent level, which is the main level. In order to see the cubes, we need to load in level 1. So, there are two different ways we can do this. Let's go over the first way. The first way is by creating a volume. If the player overlaps this volume, it will load in level 1, and if the player leaves this volume, then it will unload level 1. So, to create this volume, we can go here, where it says quickly add things to the project. Then if we go to all classes, and look for a level streaming volume. So this one, and just select it and just kind of expand it and when my player is basically in this volume it will load in level 1 so I've just wrapped this around the whole of this area then to basically trigger it we just want to go here and click this little pencil icon this will give us the level details and then we want to go to level 1 and then we're going to go here where it says streaming volumes and go add array element. And then we just want to select the level streaming volume. Okay, so I got an error message saying cannot add level streaming volume, which is not the persistent level. So I can only add um, this level streaming volume in the persistent level because the persistent level is going to be the um, first level the player spawns in. We can't basically load in a level streaming volume. So I'm just going to select this, copy it, and delete it. And then Change this to be the persistent level, and we want to place the um, level streaming volume here in the persistent level. Okay, now that I've done this, if I go back to this um, pencil icon, I'll select level 1. And for the streaming volume, let's select the level streaming volume. Close this, go save. So now if I go play, and let's say I enter this volume, it should load in those cubes. Okay, nice. So as we can see, when I entered that volume, it loaded in um, level 1, and I can see these cubes. But if, say, I were to um, leave this volume, then it will unload those cubes. So here, yeah, roughly here is where I place the volume. 
So maybe in your game, if there's like a door and once the player enters the door, you can basically unload all of the assets behind it. That would be a way to use it. And then I'll show you the other way, which we can basically um, load and unload levels. For this method, um, I normally don't use both at the same time. So I'm gonna actually just delete this level stream volume because it can kind of conflict with the um, second method that I'm about to show you. So I'm just gonna go here where these three level icons are and go open level blueprint. And I'm just gonna right click and look for the one key and the two key. And basically when I press the one button, I'm going to load in level one. So to do this, we can drag off pressed and I'm gonna look for um, load stream. And we want load stream level by object reference. I'm just doing this in a kind of quick way. You could basically code it so when the player walks through a door or if they interact with some objects, it does this. But I'm just making it when the player presses the one key. We're going to load stream level by object reference and I'm going to select level one. And just make sure to check this make visible after load. If you don't have this checked, then you're not going to be able to see any of the objects. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag off two. When I press the two button, I'm going to unload stream by level and we want by object reference and I'm just going to select level one let's go compile and let's go play so I'm going to go into my room and when I press one it will load in um, those cubes when I press two it will unload them so maybe like I said you can make that dynamic so maybe when the player interacts with an object or does something you can make it load in a level or unload in a level. And like I said at the start of the video, this is just a much more optimized way to basically have all of the levels in your game because you don't need everything loaded in at once. We can dynamically load in what we need and unload what we don't need. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.